Hello and welcome to a Gamer Boy Productions tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make um, a materials and textures in the Blender game engine. When you open up Blender, you'll be given your default cube here. In the middle, um, press X and just delete it. And keep the lamp and the camera. Uh, press space, add, mesh, UV sphere. Your default should be 32 by 32, uh, and the uh, radius should be 1. Just press OK. Press tab to get out of edit mode there. Uh, go down here and where it says set smooth, click on that. And uh, what that does is it just, uh, look, it just, when you press set solid, it, uh, it's a lot more obvious to see the faces. So when you press set smooth, uh, you can't see all of the faces as well, and this just makes your object look a little better. Uh, by pressing, then press F5, or um, click on the shading buttons down here. Press Add New. Then uh, we're given this. Hopefully you know how to do this. Uh, this shows your basic color. This shows uh, where you can... Uh, if your object uh, transparency or reflectiveness. I won't go into these that much, but uh, well, here, I'll just show you. Uh, real quick, if you press ray mirror and just move this ray mirror up, your object is given a uh, reflectiveness. And if you press ray transparency and take down the alpha here, your object becomes transpar uh, transparent. Okay. Um, but most of this will I'll be showing you in textures. Yeah, okay, so now I'll just go here and move these sliders a little up to make yellow. Or uh let me just change this to shaded. And this will show you a close preview of what your render should look like. Press zero on the numpad to go into camera mode. Then go here. Textures. Press F6 alternately. Um, press Add New. Go here, uh, where it says Texture Type, and press Clouds. And you have the choice between soft noise, hard noise. I'm not going to tamper with these. I'm just going to show you something. Noise Basis. Go into Voronoi Crackle, and uh, here you'll see that your object turned pink. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, we'll just go here at the end where it says textures. Make sure that texture, your first texture was selected. You really didn't give it a name. You could, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to remember which ones are which. Uh, then you go to map 2, and I'm just going to deselect that color tab. So now your object stays uh, yellow. But select, n click nor twice. And look what will happen. You're given a uh, F12 just to see it a little better. Your object is given a little uh, texture on the surface. A little uh, crackle. Okay. And then you can, then uh, we'll just go into textures again. We'll go here and we can go into, um, let's see, uh, to or whatever, stuffy or whatever. Um, just look at all these. Oh, that one works too. Uh, okay, let's go. And then we'll just take this and make cut, and we're gonna actually keep this one. Then we're going to go here, go into red. So then, this is what you'll end up with. Well, red and yellow, almost like a cracked marble. You, when you look in, you'll have all of the textures that you needed to. This is great for making a, uh, let's say, uh, let's turn this to green, to a dark green. Make this a little green, a little uh, darker green too. This is good for making things like uh, scales and, uh, uh, let me just render that. Let's 
scales and uh, <coughs> rocks and things like that. Uh, then through playing around with this for a while, you'll figure all these textures out. You can go into wood here, and then you can choose between rings and all kinds of stuff. And then when you go to here, wait for it to start up there. And if you go into your texture, so yeah, your second texture, uh, you can take that and then you can click NOR on it twice and push that small. Then you can have your object there. Okay. Um, you can just play around with these little buttons. Uh, they do all kinds of stuff. They uh, allow the texture to affect the specularity, the reflection, uh, the emitting of the emit value, translucency, the ray mirror, uh, the displacement, uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, so there you can just go around with stuff and uh, hope you enjoyed that um, tutorial. Uh, hope I make another one. If you have any suggestions, I'll see what I can do. Okay, thank you. This has been a Gamer Boy Productions tutorial.